Here I am back at the welding shop. Why? Because I ran out of gas again, which keeps happening, and I need some bigger bottles. While at Central Welding, I went ahead and picked up some flashback arresters. Uh, it's way overdue, way over time. I should have done this years ago for my torch. There, that's better. I just can't do it. I can't put fresh bottles back on this cart. This thing is a source of shame. Look at that. I was holding bottles on with ropes. I mean, I got this thing in a state sale years ago, and it's wonky and wobbly and just needs to be replaced. I got to do something about it. I'm gonna buy something new. Well, looking for something new, that, that's not going to happen. $500, $600 for a brand new welding cart that weighs a ton. I don't think so. Hmm. Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight has welding carts. Harbor Freight has cheap welding carts. Yeah. Oh, wait. Wait, what is that? Is that... That's a Schrader valve. Why would you have a pneumatic tire on a cart? Damn it. Oh, wait. What is that? Is that a dolly? Oh, oh, getting a brain idea. I went full engineered, went into AutoCAD, designed up some of the pieces, sent it over to Send, Cut, Send, and they laser cut them out. And look there, six days later, it's all done. All the bits and bobs are laid out, and I did a dry test fit. Everything's cut. Needs to be cleaned up um, on the grinder before I, I start tacking it up, but I think we're ready to go. we have it the torch cart is done um, it took me longer than I expected with six or seven interruptions that I hadn't counted on but it's done now um, I will say that the first time that I saw her in this state with the hoses hooked up I needed some alone time with just me and the cart All right, so that taken care of, um, I'm very, very happy with the cart. Uh, let me show you real quick, again, kind of as a re recap, what, what I had versus what we have now. Let's compare and contrast just briefly the old torch cart and the new cart. Now, as you can see, sketchy, wonky, Built like a brick shit house. 
So with this, I was always scared I was going to drop a bottle. Um, yeah, it, it, I was embarrassed when people came over and inspected my cart. This, there won't be dropping a bottle, and there is no embarrassment. That, that's just plain sexy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. As you can see, this is going to work out much better. So I'm really looking forward to... Uh, probably the next piece of steel plate or the next I-beam I, I need to cut off. Um, I am really trying hard. Um, I have as one of my commitments to myself not to keep running out of gas. <laughs> so I think I've, I've run out of gas like three times in the last 12 months. So um, that, that is my goal for, uh, for this next year. Now this is not the, the cheapest solution um, out there. I, I could have maybe bought something from Uncle Jeff on Amazon or Northern Tool or something a little cheaper. I think all in with the cart and the bits and bobs from Send Cut Send. By the way, this is not uh, an advert. They're not paying me a dime. Uh, I just, I use their service all the time. It's so much better for me space-wise than to have a plasma table. Not that I wouldn't take one because I would, but I don't exactly have the, the room, the space, um, uh, a wife that will allow me to have an eight foot uh, plasma torch um, in her side of the garage. <laughs> um, but Sin Cut Sin really hooked me up. I, I don't think that this would have turned out as nicely um, without, without their service. So I'm, I'm really, really pleased about that. Um, again, it's not the, the cheapest in the world. I think all in with, uh, with the the Sin Cut Sin parts with the dolly, I'm about $175. And then I had a full day of my time um, welding and grinding and some more grinding. Uh, I may have mentioned this, but I'm not a professional <laughs> welder. So there was some grinding. Um, sanding, some wire uh, brush uh, and some wire wheel, uh, prime and paint. But it turned out, I'm super happy. Thank you for following along with me on this entire build. I appreciate it.